Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact, specifically to my old account, which is now AR20. So yeah, I'm gonna go to Sumeru now. What does Sumeru have to do with AR20? Absolutely nothing, but I just wanna go to Sumeru and maybe unlock Dentro Traveler. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But as you can see, I haven't unlocked anything outside of Monstad. I mean, even Monstad I haven't fully unlocked because I'm still missing Storm Terror's Lair and Dragon Spine. But yeah, and I thought. I'm just gonna go to Sumeru anyway, because why not? You can just walk in there. So I'm probably just gonna make my way to this statue here first, then over to this one. And then this one, I think, is in Sumeru. So that's our target for today, this statue. And while I'm going there, I think I'm just gonna talk about some stuff, mainly my plans for this account. Um, since there have been some, some changes since the last time I played this. Um, yeah, since we now know more about the upcoming banners and stuff. But yeah, for now let's just start walking over to Liyue. And ignore these enemies for now. I remember back in the day. Um, oh well, not really back in the day, but um, a few months ago when Sumeru first came out. Um, there were a lot of people that thought you had to go to Inazuma first and do all the Archon Quest stuff there before you can go to Sumeru, but you can actually just walk straight there. Same way you can just walk from Monster to Liyue right in the beginning without um, finishing Monster's Archon Quest first, which I'm also doing right now. So yeah, that is possible. Even at low AR you can just walk everywhere except Inazuma. In Azuma you need glitches to get there at low AR. But yeah, for now I'm just gonna follow the road here. Maybe we can find some chests along the way. I think there are some under this bridge, but uh, now I already ran past it, so yeah, gotta come back here someday and claim those chests. Any besides the road here? No. Hmm, there are some rocks here. There's definitely a chest under these rocks, but too lazy to jump down there because then I have to climb back up and yeah, don't want to do that right now. And here's our first teleporter on the way, nice. And over there is the statue. First one that we have to unlock next to, um, what it's called again, Bangshu Inn? Something like that. Oh, wind thingy. Let's do this. Okay, it's just a common chest. Anyway, what I want to talk about um, concerning the plans for this account. Um, I said in the first video I made on this alt account that I maybe am gonna roll for Yelan. Um, but since then I have decided to not do that. Um, basically because I already have Yelan on my main account and she's one of my most used characters there. And I kinda want my alt account to be different. I want to use different characters. So just using Yelan again, even though it would be really nice to have a Yelan this early on for exploration, um, since her skill really helps um, when you have low stamina. Um, yeah, um, still, I kinda want to use different characters. So rolling for Yelan would kinda just mean using a character that I already use a lot um, on my main account, which I don't really wanna do. Maybe someday I'm gonna roll for Yelan on the alt account, but not for now. And I don't have enough um, Primal Gems anyway to even, you know, get Yelan. I would have to get really lucky because I only have 2,000 Primal Gems and 3 Fates, so... Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't get her anyway. But yeah, I'm gonna save my Primal Gems for now and uh, probably use them on one of the new banners in the new update. I um, don't know exactly which one yet. I mean, um, there's obviously Dehia and Sino. Um, which, now that the forces are revealed, they got revealed today, um, I know that there's Bennett on that banner, and I kinda wanna roll for Bennett. I don't use him on a, my main account, because I think he's just too overused, and everyone seems to think that he's the non plus ultra, um, that you can't do anything in this game without Bennett, and I don't really like that. Uh, so yeah, I just refuse to use Bennett on my main account, but here on my auto account, as I already said, I wanna, think, I wanna do things a little bit different. Um, so yeah, Bennett is an option. I might actually roll for him and build him here. 
But that would mean I would have to roll for either Dehir or Sino. The thing is, I already have Sino on my main account, and I am gonna roll for Dehir on my main account. I actually have enough Primus to guarantee a Dehir, um, and I'm definitely gonna level her to 90 immediately. And use her a lot, because I really like Dehir. So if I roll for Bennett um, on this alt account, it's probably gonna be on Sino's banner. Because even though I have Sino on my main account, um, I don't really use him, he's not built. Um, so yeah, maybe if I get Sino here on this alt account, he could be my new main here. Um, but I kinda hope I don't get him, so that I have a chance to get Ayaka. Because I think uh, being an Ayaka main would kinda really be a really nice thing for this account. I'd rather be an Ayaka main than a Sino main. But yeah, that's the plan. Um, try to get Bennett, try to get Ayaka, and uh, yeah, well, if I don't get Ayaka, if I lose the 50-50, um, I don't know, um, it'd be nice maybe to become a Diluc main or a Keqing main. Preferably Keqing. Or Tainari, maybe? Not Jean though. I really hope I don't get Jean here if I lose the 50-50, because I haven't gotten a Jean in so long on my main account, and I really love her, and she's, yeah, one of my favorite characters, so I'd rather get a Jean on my main account. Um... I mean, a constellation for Jean, I already have her on my main account, but I just, I'm struggling to get constellations for her. She just doesn't wanna come to me when I lose 50-50s, it's just always other characters. So getting a Jean on my alt account would be kinda painful, actually. Because then I would be like, damn, why not on my main account? Okay, I think we have to swim over there now. Do I have enough stamina? Mm, do I have to go a long way around? I don't think I have enough stamina yet to swim over there, so... Gotta follow the road. Oh, that's another wind thingy. And, uh, well, I flew right past that. Oh, I just realized that that statue is the one that is all the way up there. Um, and I don't know how fast we can get up to that. I think there are some wind currents, but I'm not sure. So maybe you should just skip that statue and go straight over to the Sumeru one. Might be a good idea. Oh, my adventure rank 21, thanks to that teleport waypoint. Okay. Hope this is the right way. I hope I don't have to climb over these mountains. She getting kind of close to that statue that I wanted to skip because the path just goes that way. Um, I was hoping there was somewhere where I could take a turn um, to the west get to Sumeru, but um, they're just mountains to the west. And I don't want to climb, so I'm just gonna continue following the road. But yeah, while, while we walk up here, um, what are your thoughts about Day here? Because I know there has been a lot of Doom posting again, as usual. I mean, it happens to every new character nowadays. And uh, I'm just here um, wanting to roll for Day here because she was awesome in the Archon quest, and I just... We love her as a character. I don't really care if a character is supposedly bad. Um, because, let's be real here, you can clear anything in this game with any character. Like, even Amber. I've used her successfully in Abyss before on my main account. Um, even though people say she's the worst character, so... Yeah, it's whatever. I mean, even if the here is bad, I don't really care. And, to be honest, I'm not sure if she's actually gonna be that bad. Um... Because if you look at some of the characters in the past that got Doom posted to hell and back, um, they turned out to be pretty good in the end. Um, like Kokomi, for example. Um, or Shinobu. Even Raiden was Doom posted at some point. People were comparing her to Fischl back when she came out and were saying that Fischl is better. Which obviously is uh, bullshit. Um, nowadays we all know that Raiden is one of the best characters in the game. But yeah, what I'm trying to say here is that Doom posters oftentimes seem to not really have any idea what they're talking about. So, 
I just try to not listen to all the negativity and yeah, just enjoy the game and uh, try the character out for myself and see if they are actually bad, which probably not really. Like, even if she is not meta, which is very possible, I think. I mean, I've looked at the kid and I think, yeah, she's she's probably not going to be a meta character, um, like Tao, for example. But, I again, I don't really think she's going to be that bad. Like, people are exaggerating so much every time when a new character comes out there. Looking at the kid and they see one negative thing and then they're like, oh my god, worst character ever. And I don't really like that mindset um, of just looking at the characters in the most negative way possible. And then um, going on the internet and posting about all this negative stuff without looking at any of the positives and through that ruining the character for other people. By just hating, hating and hating some more. This whole Doom posting business that's happening in Genshin all the time in the Genshin community, it's just getting on my nerves, to be honest. I mean, I understand being a little bit disappointed because the here doesn't seem to be the best character, but again, not every character has to be at the top of meta. Every new character. But that's apparently what a lot of people expect, even though they should know, should know better by now. I just don't get it, why Doom posting is a thing. Especially, again, since oftentimes it just turns out to be wrong, to be not true, what the Doom post is saying. Kokumi is the best example for that, by far. Like, one of the things that I've seen a lot of people complain about um, is Dehir's downtime, or her skill. And, uh, yeah, I looked at her kid and I'm like, okay, it's uh, 8 seconds downtime. You know who also has 8 seconds downtime? Yoimiya. And nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about Yoimiya having 8 seconds downtime. I mean, I don't. You know why? Someone who basically mains Yoimiya on my main account, um, she's one of my best characters there. One of my most used characters. I can tell you why these 8 seconds don't matter, because you just use these 8 seconds to um, use the skills and bursts of the rest of the team. It's a team game. You know, you can use the downtime of a character to use the rest of the team. And with day here, it's not even really 8 seconds if you use the burst um, during the skill duration. Then you only have like, I don't know, 3 or 4 seconds downtime, which is not much, honestly. And then compare this to Fischer, for example, who has 15 seconds downtime on her skill and then also can use her burst to basically extend the skill, similar to day here. Nobody complains about that, you know? Everybody's like, oh, Fischl, best character ever. But suddenly when Dehir does a similar thing, it's a problem. For a lot of people, I, I don't get it, you know? That's it. But it's always like that with Doom posting. Which direction am I even going? I was so busy talking that... Oh well. But that's the thing with Doom posting, that a lot of times they are really exaggerating um, problems that aren't uh, really much of a problem, you know? I mean, I'm not denying that there is a problem, that maybe it would be better to have less downtime. Um, again, it's it's really not that big of a deal. It really isn't. And it's just kind of sad that some characters just get such a bad reputation um, because people just uh, blow the whole thing out of proportions. All the flaws of the kid. But it's like, okay a flaw but it's it's you know it's not a big flaw it's like on the same level of the people who said that uh, Eula is bad because she kills the enemies before her burst hits them it's like who the fuck cares the enemies are dead anyway what the fuck are you even complaining about you know that's the, that's the level of complaints that the doom posters are using most of the time which just come on you serious do you even play the game I think we're almost to Sumeru now. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, pretty close. Ooh, there's actually a Sumter Beast, yeah. That basically means we are in Sumeru. Oh, we have a Dentro Monument, so we are definitely in Sumeru now. Sadly, I don't have a Dentro character yet. Um, yeah. But that might change if I roll on the Sino Banner, because Kole is in there. I mean, we also could get Kole for free just by doing the Abyss, but I'm not that far yet. Martimia Forest. There we go. Pretty 
This forest is so nice. Really like it. Even though it's kinda annoying to traverse sometimes if you wanna collect the shrooms for Kole. Anyway. Here we have a first Sumeru statue. Let's go. Okay, now we have this area and there's just a big void in between <laughs> this and uh, the rest of the map that we revealed already. Um, but yeah, Sumeru, I'm here. That was the point of the video. I still don't know why exactly I did this, but but I guess um, I can turn my Traveler, my Lumine, into Dentro Lumine now. Just gotta put it on the team real quick. There we go. Dendro unlocked. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. Um, yeah, just some um, going around the world, exploring, and talking about the new update, I guess, and my plans for this account. Um, yeah, a little bit different of a video, but I hope you enjoyed anyway. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, have a nice day.